हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द साइंस मेड इजी आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज सेमी कंडक्टर मटीरियल्स सेमी कंडक्टर मटीरियल्स आर दो मटीरियल्स हुज कंडक्टिविटी लाइन बिटवीन द कंडक्टर्स एंड इंसुलेटर्स द कंडक्टिविटी इज लेस देन कंडक्टर्स एंड द कंडक्टिविटी इज ग्रेटर देन इंसुलेटर्स अ सिंपल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सेमी कंडक्टर मटीरियल इज लाइक जर्मेनियम and silicon germanium has 32 electrons and silicon has 14 electrons and the semiconductor has those uh, uh, property in which uh, it has negative temperature coefficient of resistance it means that on increasing the temperature the resistance decreases and as resistance decreases that means the conductivity increases that is on increasing the temperature the conductivity of semiconductor material increases and this is opposite to the behavior of the conductors in which on increasing the temperature the conductor the conductivity decreases so now let us again uh, the second topic let us discuss about the chemical discuss about the chemical bond formation in the semiconductor materials so for it let us consider the germanium atom it has 32 electrons and these electrons are filled uh, in the electronic shells is that in first one it has two electron eight and then 18 and last one four four so these 28 electron along with the nucleus will form a positive core and these four electron that are remaining here are known as the valence electron so when two germanium atom are bring close to each other the positive core of this atom will attract the valence electron of this atom and the positive core of this atom germanium atoms are bring close to each other the positive core of this germanium atom will attract the valence electron of this germanium atom and the positive core of this germanium atom will attract the valence electrons of this germanium atom and at the same time there is also repulsive forces that act between the positive cores of the two atom and the valence electrons of the, of the two atom and when an equilibrium condition is reached that is when the attractive forces are balanced by the repulsive forces there is a formation of the covalent bond so each germanium atom can form four covalent bond and this is the uh, this uh, and we have explained here the chemical bond formation in the germanium atom now the classification of the semiconductor materials semiconductor materials are classified in two types mainly number 1 is the intrinsic semiconductor material intrinsic semiconductor materials are those materials which uh, so intrinsic semiconductor materials are those materials uh, in which we have taken the semiconductor in its pure form like have, as we have explained here and in which now what is responsible for the conductivity uh, it is found that even at the room temperature some electrons are capable of uh, getting the sufficient energy or this is that they capable of breaking the covalent bond and they become free like the electron becomes free and the vac space that is uh, that is uh, that is from which the electron is removed is vacant now it is known as hole so these electrons uh, are responsible and holes are responsible for the conductivity of the material so is that when it is placed in a electric field then these electron will move towards the positive electrode and the hole movement also give rise to the conductivity of the material like a uh, Uh, every atom has a tendency every atom has a tendency to uh, every atom has a tendency to <clears throat> every atom has a tendency to fill this space and so it steals the electron from its nearby atom and hence the hole is displaced from one place to other place and it is filled now so this is the movement of the hole and this hole will move towards the negative electrode but it is found that the intrinsic semiconductor material has a very low conductivity because there are very few number of the electrons which are capable of uh, getting capable of breaking the bond and become free so such uh, materials intrinsic semiconductor materials are not very great uh, practical importance so the second type of the semiconductor material is extrinsic semiconductor material extrinsic semiconductor materials are those material in which we have added the impurity to change the conductivity of the material so based upon the impurity added we have classified the extrinsic semiconductor materials again in two types number 1 is the n type semiconductor and number 2 is the p type semiconductor materials so n type semiconductor materials are those materials in which we have added the pentavalent impurity like we have added arsenic 
antimony so when a pentavalent impurity as pentavalent impurities are those in which uh, the outermost shell has five valence electron so is that when arsenic is added in germanium the four electrons of the uh, arsenic are used to form the four covalent bond but the fifth one is not used uh, here for the covalent bond formation and it is not completely detached from the atom but even not giving a, a very few uh, a very small energy it can be detached and it is found that even at the room temperature this energy is achieved even at the it is found that that uh, it it's fifth electron is not completely detached and even at the room temperature it it, it gets a sufficient energy so that it becomes free and it results in the formation of a positively charged impurity ions here this has become positive charge as its one electron becomes free and this electron is negative charge so um, and also we find that these electrons are responsible for the conductivity of the material and and as they are negatively charged so this is type of material are known as n type materials and but it doesn't means that the semiconductor becomes negative negatively charged it is found that the number of the negatively charged electrons that are generated here is same as the number of the positively charged ions of the impurity ions that are formed here so as a whole the material is neutral and even on applying the electric field this neutral semiconductor remains neutral such that like it is positive electrode and it is negative electrode so it is found that when elect when electric field is applied the number of the electrons that are pulled by this electrode is same as the number of the electron that are pulled out from the negative electrode and as a result the number of the electrons in the material is same and which is equal to the number of the positively charged impurity ions and hence as a result the semiconductor material is neutral now the second type of the semiconductor material is p type semiconductor p type semiconductor are those materials in which a trivalent impurity is added like trivalent impurity like aluminum like gallium so trivalent means they have only three valence electrons so that when like aluminum is added into in germanium its three electrons are used to make the three covalent bonds with the germanium but the fourth one space fourth one uh, uh, place remains empty so it has a tendency to form the germanium has a tendency to form the fourth uh, bond also so it steals the atom one electron from its nearby atom and resulting in the formation of the covalent bond and as a result the aluminum becomes negatively charged ion and the place from where the uh, electron is stolen becomes empty and this is becomes hole so number of the holes that are generated here is same as the number of the negatively charged uh, ions of the impurity that are formed here so as a result we find that p type semiconductors are also electrically neutral so we find that that extrinsic semiconductor materials are of very great practical importance because their conductivity has flexibility the conductivity has flexibility that is it is found that on minute addition of the impurity the conductivity is changed to a very great extent so these materials are of very great uh, practical importance and we study it further so i hope that this video is helpful for you and if you like it then the like the video subscribe us and thank you